With just a few weeks to go until the FIFA World Cup kicks off in Qatar, many are dusting off their football paraphernalia. But a number of bars, municipalities and town squares in Brussels are planning a snub. Emmanuel Simonis, the owner of Café Cabardouche, a popular bar that usually projects sports on a big screen, tells your news he won't be showing these games for ethical, social and ecological reasons. It was really the accumulation of everything. From the way the contract was awarded, the corruption scandals, the stadium construction scandals, the choice of country, and the total absurdity that now there is a crazy energy crisis where everyone is wondering how they will pay their energy bill while watching a championship that takes place in air-conditioned stadiums in the middle of the desert. The staff of Café Cabardouche are on board and regulars, and Emmanuel says he's willing to take the financial hit. According to Amnesty International, there are 1.7 million migrant workers in Qatar, many abused, exploited, living in appalling conditions. And the Guardian newspaper says 6,500 workers have died. It's a topic that's regularly addressed here in the European Parliament at the Human Rights Subcommittee. Well, the whole World Cup situation with Qatar is a mess. Uh, the World Cup should never have been given to Qatar in the first place because of the human rights situation in which the country is, because it's no democracy. That is highly problematic. Since then, we have seen some improvements when it comes to the rights of migrant workers. But that does not make anyone being alive again that has been killed in the first years when constructing these stadiums. I don't feel like watching and joining the football party, although I actually really like soccer. The EU Foreign Affairs Chief won't be watching the games. He'll be too busy, his spokesperson told Euronews. But Joseph Borre has been trying to exert pressure on the Qatari authorities by hosting a number of human rights dialogues. Maeve McMahon, Euronews, Brussels.